Hi guys, it's the GG Gaming site, and we are doing a top 10 video game list, and we have a little guest star, he's a giant inflatable unicorn head, so he is going to help us, um, he chose all the games, my little, this is like huge, this is really big, it's, it's, a pretty big unicorn head. Um, I got him from um, right there where my finger is. That little empty spot is. I got him from right there. And so let's put him on this side. Okay, so he's going to help us choose the games. So let's start with our number 10 game. Um, oh, Wheel of Fortune, it seems really dumb, or er, Wheel of Fortune, big money, but the character selection is hilarious, like, it's not racist, but all the characters, like, some of them, like, are Chinese, but, like, the, like, graphics make them look like this, like, so it's just so funny and then the dances and the sounds they make like woohoo it's really funny and 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 they do like dances and how bad quality it is it just makes it hilarious so if you have oh and these are uh ps three games and ps four games sorry i stutter okay so on our number nine we have Watch Dogs. I would say a lot more about this game, but um, kind of when it came out, I expected a little more of it than kind of what it turned out to be. I was expecting it would be more like a GTA 5 thing. I love it. It's a great game, and I beat in the game but it I it just didn't like amuse me that much with the um kind of just how it like plays out. I'm just not really that into it. And then on our number eight we will have um infamous. Not infamous two not infamous second son infamous um it's a pretty good game the parkour um is like awesome if you love parkour games um i would probably choose this game if you want to see the back that's the back of it it's like a parkourish game as you can see he's like standing up on the building the graphics are a little bit bad, but once you beat it, the open world is really fun because then you kind of, kind, of, kind of get more of a chance to play with pedestrians, and it makes a really good montage for, like, a, like, hilarious montage of Infamous if you do that. I don't know. On number seven, um, we have PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. This is a really good game, but kind of to understand this game, I can name probably almost all the characters in this because I I am like a gaming f like freak, especially for PlayStation. Like I can name all the characters like off the bat: Big Daddy, Drake, Kratos, uh, I'm the guy from Metal Gear Solid, Snake, um, Ratchet and Clank, I think. I'm not good with that game. Fat Princess, Sackboy, the um, raccoon guy, the Killzone villains, um, the guy from Street Fighter, Infamous, Cool Veneer, um, the guy from um, Dark Descent, I think, and then um, the Drake and... Um, Clank, and then Paparappa. Yeah. This is a really fun game. I play it all the time with my friends. Like, once we had, like, a sleepover, and then we were playing this till, 
one in the morning from like six o'clock to one in the morning. We have a lot of fun with this game and oh and there's over twenty twenty unique moves per character. It's awesome. I love it so much. It's so fun. Now on our number seven we will probably go for Grand Theft Auto Five. I love this game. It's open world. I love the online. I I was looking up ratings. It's nine out of ten. But there are better games in this. You got um it's like a crime simulator. It's just Yeah, it's just like it's a good game. I love it. It I was addicted to it and my friends are too. But we, we like all love this game. Like the like Ryan is the one who loves this game, and like we did, we did we do challenges on it. Um, um, but it's a little too inappropriate for me. Like, I mean, there is intense violence, blood, blood and gore, and nudity, mature humor, strong language, strong se sexual content, and use of drugs and alcohol. It's a little really inappropriate. Um, you might want to be a little older for that. I love it. It's really fun, but it's a little too much for me to handle. On uh, number four, I think. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Yeah. On uh, number four, we have Monkey Island. I had the special collection for it. It's an awesome game. The graphics aren't that good. It's like, it is 2D. Um, but it's a pretty good game. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a little, like, puzzle game. This is the special collection, so it comes with the secret of Monkey Island, too. It comes with Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2. So it is a, because apparently the first game was really good that they decided to make a, s a second game. So yeah, I I haven't even, I'm still in the beginning of the first one because the puzzles are super hard in it to me. On number four, we have Trails Fusion, okay, it's upside down. It's Trails Fusion, it's a really, really good game. Um not upside down. Um, it's a good game. Um, I would highly suggest this game if you have a PS4 because it's awesome. It's it's really hard. Like it's it, it isn't like your. It's really different. It's like it's not like your n normal dirt biking game. Like you can control like what you do. So you can do like front flips, back flips, and it takes place in the future so it's like dirt biking in the future and you basically play as like a cyborg or something I'm not really sure but the graphics are awesome too because it's for the PS4 for number three I have Assassin's Creed Black Flag this is an awesome game I, I haven't really played like Rogue or um like Assassin's Creed like like the new one, like I think there's a new one come coming out and it takes place like in Chinatown or something. I'm not really sure. Um, if you're watching this when it came out, then this is a, a little old video, but I, I'm not really sure. But I think it's coming out in China, like it takes place in China or something. Um, it's a really good game. Like, like you play as a character named Edward. You're like a pirateish guy. And you just take down British people. <laughs> yeah, that's all I really have to say. You're an assassin, obviously, because it's called Assassin's Creed, obviously. On number two, we have Dying Light. I love this game. I still play it. I do a bunch of gaming on my site with this. Um, I think it's the most um, season one yet. It has up to four episodes right now. So it has the most, um, and it's awesome parkour. 
uh, I really don't need to explain this that much because if you want to see gameplay of this, it's all over my YouTube channel. I think it's like one of like my latest videos. I'm not really sure, but I have I'm Jennifer. I'm Jennifer. Yeah. Um, good game. It's um like a survival horror kind of. Not really though, but yeah, a little. Oh, sorry, that was my phone if you heard that, but you got a little parkour, action, adventure. And in number one, I cried at the end of this game. It was so emotional. The Last of Us. When my dad was buying the PS3 off of Craigslist, it came with Mass Effect 3, Skyrim, um, GTA 5, and The Last of Us. It, this is an awesome game. I love how it doesn't really impact you with so many zombies. Like, it's kind of more of a connection with it's the apocalypse with people and zombies, not just zombies. Like, like Left 4 Dead, it's just zombies. Like, you don't find any other survivors. But this game, like, you can be attacked by either zombies, clickers, or just normal people who want to take you down because they're their own little gang and you play as Ellie and Joel and it's not like Romeo and Juliet like they don't like love each other it's a story about a girl who's immune to the infection and Joel his daughter died and I don't want to spoil anymore but it's awesome I love it so much and if you want to know how she did get infected, it has that with Left Behind, which is still in it. This is an awesome game. I cried for like an hour because of how it ended. I was so sad and heartbroken how Joel, I was about to say how it ended, but I'm not. So, um, I hope you guys liked that. It took a lot of time. And Unicorn wants to um say something he he loves all these games he plays it with me and so does my mlg panda it's made by the creators of snuggies but i wear it every single time i do gaming you just don't see me because i'm embarrassed to wear it but I wear it every single time I do a gaming video with you guys. And I'll start showing him more, possibly every video. I don't know. But he's my MLG Panda, and he gives gives me good luck on, like, when I'm sniping in, like, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. Like, headshot, 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 headshot. So, yeah. Please, please leave a like and subscribe. I will be more happy. I'm, I was a little bit more, like, excited and happy in this, and please leave a like and subscribe, and peace.